I am Arcadia from Helsingborg in Sweden, and I am a comedy magician. My brother Andreas and I co-create magic. He designs the effects, and I mainly perform them. I like to make people laugh, and when you combine laughter with the sense of magic, it's just a really nice feeling. My brother Anders, he has Crohn's disease, and he was recovering from a major surgery when we found out about Fulas. <laughs> I was actually studying Fulas during my stay at the hospital. But we started rehearsing immediately for this performance. There's some stuff there, can't say what, but it will fool them. <laughs> I'm here this evening as a magician and a historian. So in preparation of this performance, I decided to study up on the history of Penn and Teller. And I found something amazing. But first, Penn, Teller, can you please put on the hats that you find next to you, which might seem a bit silly, but I think it will help us breathe life into this old mystery. You see, during my research, I found remarkable evidence that you or your exact doubles were, in fact, pirates. <laughs> now, bear with me. I will prove it. But first, Alison, I also need your help. Could you please come over here and yeah, give her a round of applause? <laughs> Could you please hold on to this box? Yes. And it's perfect. Now, to prove the point that you are pirates, I would like you to take a look at these old posters that I found. <laughs> this gentleman here that looks rather like uh, Mr. Gillette was known through history as Peg Leg Pen. Yes, and tell her, your double were the feared Silent Sea Dog. <laughs> yes, yes. One day, both Pegleg Pen and the Silent Sea Dog were found dead in their beds. The killer was never found, but my research rewarded me with an old wanted poster of the prime suspect. <laughs> An uncanny resemblance, wouldn't you say? <laughs> now, Alison, your pirate name has somehow been erased by history. Hmm. So you have to make up your own. Uh, red Bandit. Red Bandit. All right, so the really Red one. Bandit. Nah. The Red so the red bandit we have there. Brilliant. Okay, so, but something else is missing here as well. There must have been a reward for the capture if they caught you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe a hundred thousand <laughs> gold doubloons. Mmm, it's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. So the red bandit, hundred thousand gold doubloons. Some people say that she is guilty. And one clue was left on the crime scene. And it was the actual murder weapon, which you've been holding on to this entire time. <laughs> because on the night of the murder, the assassin cocked the pistol and fired the gun. Oh, man. Leaving three proofs of her identity. The red pirate is pretty smart, so proof number one, the fingerprints. <laughs> gotcha. And proof Number two, it is believed that the assassin had a tattoo on her right hand matching this symbol on the pistol, a skull and crossed bones on her right hand. 
Huh? Oh, man. A skull and crust bones. Proof number three. I happen to know that pirates of the day considered their guns so precious that they often marked them so they could be identified if they were lost or stolen. And just a minute ago, you told me that your name was Red Bandit. And there's no way I could have known that because you just made it up. Yes. So if this gun is somehow marked with your name, now, Allison, I would like you to feel with your finger that there's truly an engraving into the metal, deeply into the metal of the gun. Yes. I would like you to read out loud what it says. It says Red Bandit. Red Bandit. Deeply engraved into the metal of the gun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have solved the mystery of the two dead pirates. Ladies and gentlemen, Arcadia! All right. How do you feel? I feel framed. <laughs> you feel framed? Yes. Uh, I'm more concerned about who's going to give me the 100,000 gold doubloons. <laughs> you know, that's my thought. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about your hair. My hair, yeah. Like your oh, hair. Yeah. yeah, some of it is real. Yeah. And uh, do you always travel across the ocean to do magic? This is the first time in the States, yeah. What do you uh, think of Vegas? Yeah, we came a couple of days ago, and so far I've seen the Rio Hotel uh, on the inside, yeah, and also seen Rio Hotel on the outside, mm -hmm. yeah. And at one point we saw the uh, coffee shop inside the Rio Hotel. Oh, yeah, so, so, all, so really. far, uh, Las Vegas has been wonderful. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's find out if Penn and Teller know how you did the trick. Yeah. Well, matey, I think you're the first person to dress us up. Thank you. We like it. From now on, that may be a requirement. Every person that comes out here needs to give us a hat. That seems fair, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, what yeah. a genius trick. And everything in it has like antecedents, which you really love. And the crayon medallion trick that others may not know used a verbal, very clever verbal lie. It was a little bit of sneakiness there to get a person to say something that was perceived two different ways, one by the person on stage and by the audience. But Teller said there's these clever guys who found a way to do the crayon medallion without that verbal lie. Is that you? Yeah, me and my brother. Okay, <laughs> so that's your company. So when Teller says this is kind of like those clever guys that did this, this is one of those clever guys that did that. But unfortunately, us knowing about it hurts you a little bit. Also, you've taken an ash trick and done a really much newer version of it that's much more deceptive and terrific, and we love that too. And also having the beautiful drawings of us, which are very, very special in so many ways. So we love this whole routine, but um, I think it's because we we're so interested in innovations that you made that that's the reason you probably didn't fool us because we wanted to use the damn trick. <laughs> so should you have given him an eye patch instead? Maybe four, four. eye patches, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's so good to be here. Oh, so. thank yeah. you. Our